People are choosing violence today. Package from a beauty. Quality, high fashion pieces. I love the heel on this. It's so pretty. That mint green. It feels like butter, y'all. It looks like a bag I saw on the Zara site. Also made the matching bag. The strap across the shoulder here. And I thought, yes, honey, chivalry is not going to be dead over here, okay? Cause nobody can do you like you. And y'all be zoom 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 zoom. I'm looking like, girl, hold on. I've never had a viral moment. It's going to work for you. It's not going to work against you. Totally screwed that up. <laughs> I would be terrified to walk through these doors. The person that was afraid to step outside of my comfort zone. When I'm speaking to me versus when my critic is speaking to me. So what does your critic voice sound like? I remember when we were staring photo. Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes And I keep you in my heart And my heart is where you are I still think of you It's the incline for me, guys. An uh, incline is so satisfying. And I'm talking about a natural incline. Like nature created this. It's so satisfying. The early morning walks are top tier. I kid y'all not. It sets the tone for the day. See, this, this is why I don't do nature. Y'all, people are choosing violence today. Oh my gosh. Like, what in the world? I woke up this morning and heard a diss track from Chris Brown. I don't know, girl. I'm getting into all that. But I'm scrolling on the internet, minding my business. I'm like, oh my lamb. Some of the stuff he was saying, honey. Whew. The disrespect. But Chris Brown is so talented. Like, so many areas. The dancing, our choreography, the singing, the rapping, his style, fashion sense. He is like a superhuman. <laughs> He's so talented. I just hate to see when like we attack each other. I hate to see that. But Lord, what did my poor little ears wake up to? Who 
Ooh, y'all, I needed nature's AC, a cool breeze. So I'm under these trees, girl. The last thing I wanna do is sweat my hair out. But I gotta get my walk in. Like there's, there's no excuse. It's always so nice to get out and get natural vitamin D from the sun. Just the way it makes your body feel. Unless there's a contraindication, guys, like people who have lupus or people who are on chemotherapies or medications that require you to stay out of the sun because you don't want your body to go all haywire and start attacking itself. These are people who have autoimmune diseases. So you have to be so careful when it comes to the sun because it activates your immune system, right? But they are autoimmune compromised. So what the average person immune system would do is activate to fight off harmful cells. There's attack their body and natural sunlight will cause an increased amount of that. And you don't want that to happen when your body is attacking itself. Also, you could encounter the skin rash, the butterfly rash. It also tells you, hey, my body is attacking itself. So now you gotta get on the medications and the steroids and all of that and girls too much just be careful guys um, and wear your sunscreen so yeah I just want to pop in and talk to you guys real quick um, I'm about to walk back home get my son he has a soccer game so it's mom duty so I really don't know if I'm gonna pick the camera up anymore today but if I don't I'll see y'all tomorrow Where my glasses? Hello guys, it's a new day. It's actually kind of like in the afternoon, <laughs> but I'm making hot tea. I have a slight headache. I'm about to head out to this cute little cafe and also to Target. I'm gonna go to Target first. And then I wanna take my daughter to this little cafe. But anyway, um, I also need to get my nails done. But I wanted to pop on and share with you guys, I got another package from a beauty. Jeanette, hey girl. <laughs> So, so many of you guys always ask me about my Chanel frames. I've had these frames, I wanna say, has it been about three years now? Probably about three years. And you guys probably see so many people with these frames now because they've been around for a while. But I've had them for about three years. I got the white writing on the side. They're, I think they come in gold, silver, black, and white when i first saw them i think that's how they came i first saw them on young miami and i was like oh i gotta have them i go to her for a lot of my fashion to be honest <laughs> she she just got it i love her style i love young miami style so i saw these in different colors and the white just automatically stuck out to me i really wanted the white i have prescription lenses in mine and i always ask for my original lenses if i can have them so Jeanette reached out to me about the frames a while back because she tried to find them at first and they, she said she couldn't find them. I think they were sold out, but they came back in stock and I sent the link to her and she was able to secure the glasses. So, and I also, you know, told her like where to go to get her prescription and things like that. But anyway, so Jeanette sent over this cute outfit, y'all. She knows me. I think we're going to be twins because I think Jeanette has the same one and she saw this and thought of me. Jeanette says, thought of you when I bought for myself. Hope you enjoy it, but okay to return if not for you. LOL. <laughs> Jeanette, it's for me, girl. <laughs> it's for me, okay? The quality, you know I love black, girl. This is so me. So these are the pants. They're so cute. Just a clean girl moment. I love it. I love the piping down the front as well as the back. The quality feels amazing. It's that thick like scuba quality. So good. And the top, the top, oh yes honey. I love this. 
This is so chic. And I love Kohl's. Y'all know, that's why I got my little centerpiece here. My little centerpiece I got from Kohl's. So this is so stinking cute. And these are the straight leg pants. Oh, I will be wearing this for sure. I told you guys, you don't have to send me things at all. You, you guys just being here and being supportive, just supporting me as I grow, giving me words of encouragement, just watching me grow, always giving me the thumbs up, rooting me on. That to me is enough. Y'all don't have to send anything. But I want you guys to know I appreciate you and I love you for it. So thank you, Jeanette. You know my style. <laughs> I appreciate you. All right, what time is it? Okay, let me have my hot tea. Y'all, I got a little headache. I got a little headache and that's because I didn't sleep well. Sometimes in this profession, you get attached to your patients and I just got attached to someone and they got bad news and it just kind of ruined my entire day ruined my entire day and i don't get attached easily but this person i kind of met throughout my nursing career in other specialties and i just i hate that for this person that's all i can say and this person is just so brave and so strong and just still a beautiful spirit inside and out. And it just really, it's really bothering me. But anyway, I'm gonna have my hot tea. Y'all, I know I'm distraught. I'm putting my honey and my tea bags in backwards. I always put honey in first and my tea bag first. It's just been one of those days, girl. And this is my organic Japanese green tea from Trader Joe's. I love this tea. I'm gonna start adding like spearmint and stuff to my tea, herbs and things like that, early morning. I may go to a rooftop. I still haven't decided if I wanna do that yet, but if I do, I'll bring you guys along. I may just have like a little rooftop date with the hubby. Yeah, we, um, I don't keep wine in the house anymore because I'm trying to create healthy habits. I'm not a drinker like that anyway. I have a glass of wine occasionally. And sometimes, you know, when I have a rough day at work, I may have a glass of wine, but I don't usually just drink wine unless I'm out, you know. That is nice and potent, honey. Oh, that's good. I forgot to show y'all this. Hold on, let me set my camera up a little bit. Yeah, I got some stuff from Zara. I have another styling haul coming. I wanted to do it before this vlog, but that's not gonna happen because I ordered something else, girl. So anyway, let me show y'all this. Cause I put this on my community tab and one thing about it, in spring, summer, I like that luxe look. Like, give me luxurious all day, okay? Give me luxe quality, high fashion pieces. So, this skirt from Zara, how pretty. OMG. So, the top gotta be plain because the skirt is doing the most. It's so pretty. That mint green. Look at the movement. Oh, y'all, this is beautiful. The only thing is, let me see, does it have a slit? Yeah, it has a slit in the back. And seam zip closure on the side here. The only thing is, it's a little big on me. This is a large, I certainly could have got a medium. Like I definitely should have sized down. But I'm just gonna make it work, girl because this was hard to get. This actually came back in stock and I put it in my Instagram stories to let y'all know all sizes came back in stock and I think there's only one size available now. I could be wrong, it's probably sold out, but this is a beautiful piece and the quality is amazing. Here's the lining of the skirt. 
so yeah it's just a little big on me but you know what i'm still going to show it to y'all in a styling video just wish i had sized down and got the medium i really thought there was just no give there isn't any stretch i should have got a medium anyway and i'm normally a large and i also picked these up y'all tell me these ain't chic girl look at these I don't have a good silver shoe with like the PVC. The ones I have are nude. They fall more in line with your golds. I don't have a silver one. I love the heel on this. The arch is perfect. The heel supports the middle, which is great when it comes to sturdiness and my back. <laughs> but this is so cute so sexy i love the pointed toe let me see how they look on my feet so here's the shoe on and again this is an eight yeah so i want to show y'all Here's the bottom. These are so stinking cute. I love them. All right, let me get dressed for the day. So we're headed out to Target. My daughter wants to go to Target. She has to pick up a few things for school. So that's where we're headed. And plus I need to get my nails done. So this is the dress that I showed you guys in a recent haul. These are super cute. Got it in taupe and heather gray. And I decided to pair a little bit of color with it. So just my pop of color, which is the Chartreuse Brandon Blackwood bag. And I have on my Hermes Aran sandals. These are also in the color Chartreuse. So yeah. And my sunnies are Amazon. I also recently hauled in a styling video. Here's one of my go-to glosses in Ginger Snap. I love this color. It's a pretty brown tint. These are so cute. It feels like butter, y'all. I'm getting it. Oh my God. And it's huge. Honey, you're coming home with me. It's 30 bucks. These are super cute. It has the acrylic handle. Like a coral and beige. And then this is like navy blue. The chain feels a little cheap, but it doesn't look cheap. This is cute too. This definitely looks like a bag I saw on the Zara site. Oh, it's so pretty. Now this is a vacay beach bag. I love this. Look at the detail. This is so nice. And this one is 40. These are so stinking cute. On the acrylic bag, the beads are like marble. This one, the beads are wooden. Okay, Beach Vibes. We ready. This is Wild Fable. And they also have it in black. I like the black. The black is sexy. It has a little sparkle to it. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Oh my gosh, I love this. They have it in beige as well. I don't want beige, I want the blue one. Maybe I'll try on and see what it looks like on. 
they don't have my size, y'all. Dang it, I wanted to try this on. I can't try it on. It's an extra small, it's too small. Y'all, look at this mess. I'm gonna need them to get it together in here. I cannot stand to shop in chaos. But anyway, wanted to show y'all. I picked this up for my daughter. This is so cute. Y'all know she's 13, but she still fits Cat and Jack like a size extra large. It's not too short on her. And it's yellow, it's so pretty, and it complements her skin tone. So here's the little book bag she chose for her friend. Um, her friend was bullied, and she just wanted to do something kind because the bully actually, or the aggressor, actually um, cut her book bag. So my daughter wanted to get her another one. So she found this, this is cute. fit these to show you guys but they're cute I think I probably need like a 14 hey girls we made it home but I'm about to head back out <laughs> I just wanted to pop in and show y'all what I grabbed from Target real quick before I pop the tag off this bad boy okay so this little bag OMG how cute I actually got it for, let me show y'all the shoes. I'm actually wearing them. <laughs> and I got y'all propped up so y'all might be a little crooked. So remember these, the Hermes dupes from Target? They're by A New Day. A New Day also made the matching bag. And I told y'all in the store, it's like wooden. Oh, I love this. So pretty. This is perfect, like vacation vibes all day. 
so cute. This is so good. And it's so soft. If you were able to get these when I posted them on my community tab, because I told y'all they were going fast. If you were able to get it, you know, it's so soft. And I love the size. So chic. If you go in your local Target, you may see it because it's sold out online, but I found this in a super center near me, so. And like I told y'all, I got the coral one as well, but I got that one from uh, my online store. I got the spray, the Make It Glow. So yeah, we're about to spray this on. But this dress is really old, guys. It comes all the way down to my ankles. I'll show y'all in a second. And the Sunnies are old Zara. They have like an orange tint to them. So pretty. But I can't wait to wear this bag, y'all. I'm excited. Wanted to share that with y'all. I told y'all in store, my daughter, I got her like a little jumpsuit. And also, I picked up a bag for her friend. Her friend was being bullied by two girls. One of the girls cut her book bag and my daughter was like mommy she was crying i really want to get her one and you know i had to have that conversation with her there are other ways you can be there and support her but i understand in the situation and i understand their friend dynamic so um we did go out and get her a bag and so she did come to me and i made the school aware of what was going on um i feel really really bad for the little girl she's super sweet i actually know her she's really sweet but you know it all sounds like it was a misunderstanding that kind of just spiraled out of control. I really hate that. And my daughter's kind of in between because she's friends with both. Um, but she let the, the aggressor know that it wasn't cool to treat her that way. And they're not really speaking now. <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of stuff, girl. I try to stay out of kids stuff, but when it comes to bullies, I don't know if y'all know, but I am a huge advocate. I do not do not tolerate zero tolerance when it comes to that kind of stuff so i had to let the school know okay all right guys so here is the dress it goes all the way down to my ankles the strap across the shoulder here is so retro Naked Wardrobe's quality is top tier like they're known for amazing quality you can get them at nordstrom as well but this is old, y'all. I got this back in 20, maybe 2020, maybe. PJs. Hold on a second. It's a little chilly in here. Just using my Belief Aquabomb. This is the vitamin C and vitamin E hyaluronic acid cream. Forgot to show you guys, I did add the rice toner. That's the one I got from Amazon. I'll link it below in case you guys are new and you want to check it out. Um, it really hydrates the skin, definitely helps with any inflamed areas. I'm going to go ahead and apply my tint sunscreen. 
by Supergoop in the shade 46 in it has an spf of 50 in it i'm actually headed to church morning services and i just want a little bit of skin tint not much and maybe a little bit of blush uh, i really want a natural look and i need to wash my brushes too because i broke out over here and i know it's from my makeup brushes it's time to wash these and I normally wash them every week, but girl, life got in the way and I forgot. Y'all know I love my Euphoria blush. Works with your natural pH. You can probably see like that red tint. I have red undertones. Um, my undertones are more olive in winter and fall, but in spring, summer, they're red. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. <laughs> All right, hold on, I'm gonna do my brows while I'm talking to y'all. We went to the rooftop that I love here. I think it's called Nouvelle. Anyway, it's so nice. The skyline is beautiful, guys. I love it. I don't go often, but when I do go. There's another one I like here too, which I'm not gonna say because I go to that one quite often. But um, yeah, this one is beautiful if you're ever in the area. But I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know I had a beautiful time. Also, the bakery, I didn't really get to tell you guys about the French bakery that my daughter and I went to after Target. It's called Shay Marie. She's a chef actually, and she started this beautiful French bakery here in Charlotte. And she's actually the cook. The pastries are amazing. Um, the only thing is the bread was a little it was a little stiff, but it is gluten free, so I kind of understand. The coffee for me was really good. It's not as sweet as I make my coffee at home. I prefer it that way when I go out um, because I, I have a bit of a sweet tooth. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but I do. So it's nice to have just a nice smooth creamy latte. And that's what that provided for me. I had the blue matcha latte, which was amazing. It's actually like, I think it says it's infused with hints of lavender. It's like, they call it butterfly pea <laughs> because it's blue, but it's actually um, infused with hints of lavender. So I love lavender lattes. If you're not a lavender latte person, that's probably not a good drink for you, but I love lavender lattes. And I love them with oat milk. It's so creamy, so good. Um, the pastry I had was a pistachio cream filled pastry. You can literally taste the nuts in it, but it was like a soft, rich taste. Amazing. Now, of course, um, she's the one cooking in the back. She's not making the drinks but the drinks were good. My daughter had a few pastries as well. And we just had some mommy girl time and chatted. We talked about school. I just get caught up in learning about her life because I know what that was like for me growing up. Um, my mom worked a lot. She had to provide. Um, my dad became disabled and my mom had to do what she had to do. And so I rarely got to see my mom, so we didn't have a lot of those moments. I missed that with my mom, so I don't want to miss out on those moments with my daughter. Also, I do have mommy-son dates with my boys and get caught up with them, and my husband has daddy-daughter dates with our daughter. The funny thing is, when it comes to our daughter, she is so spoiled and I love this for her. My husband will always open the door for her. He takes her to school in the mornings because he goes to work after me. So um, she walks to the car to get in to go to school. He opens the door for her. So he tells me like she will literally wait on him. She, she may get to the car before him, but she'll wait on him to come and open the door. And I thought, yes, honey, chivalry is not going to be dead over here, okay? Baby girl is going to expect her, her husband and her man to do that for her, okay? <laughs> chivalry is not dead. So, yeah, when he buys me flowers, sometimes he buys her flowers as well. 
um, she, you know, he treats her like the princess that she is. And we teach her these things because we want her to expect that from her partner. Y'all, how do y'all talk and do y'all make up? When I tell you, <laughs> I suck. I suck at this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, I respect so many people's art, man. This, this is a true artistry. And I say art because for me personally, I feel art is when you are showing up as your true self. You're being yourself authentically, organically, and you're connecting with people and people vibe with you and they appreciate it and they understand it. To me, that's art versus just creating content. You're truly allowing yourself to be who you are on screen, on camera, on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, on wherever. And I can respect people who really pour themselves into their art, just the art of being me. Cause nobody can do you like you. I don't care. There's so many people who are carbon copies or people who try to duplicate what you're doing, but it comes from a genuine place. It's just you being you and shining your light. To me, that's the beauty of art. Everybody's art stroke is different. My painting is gonna look different than your painting. My path is different than your path, if you get where I'm going with this. So I can appreciate people who truly share themselves authentically. I think that's a beautiful thing, especially to my makeup girls, because y'all, y'all have it on point, honey. Y'all be zoom, 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 zoom. I'm looking like, girl, hold on, which shade of eyeshadow did you use, honey? I saw you beat on your palette, but which shade did you use? Because let me rewind. Y'all are just talented, gifted. <laughs> um, it's beautiful to see. I love makeup, so I'm still learning, but I do what works for me, honey. I'm going to show you my art, okay? I'm going to always do what works for Stephanie. So it may not work for everybody. And that's the thing. That's the beauty about art. Everybody's not going to appreciate your work. Everybody's not going to vibe with it or like it. And that's totally fine. I'm not trying to be everybody's friend. In real life, I'm not going to be everybody's friend. You don't want certain people in your camp or in your home, in your space. Everybody is not supposed to vibe with you. That's totally fine. So yeah, I, I'm I'm cool with that. <laughs> um, I'm just going to always give you me. That's all I know to do. Either you like it or you don't. You vibe with it or you don't. And for the ones who do, I love you, girl. I appreciate you. I love to see people live in their truth unapologetically. It's just, this is me. Hate it or love it especially when you're the underdog y'all i've never had um oh this is tower 28 in the shade cashew i've never had a viral moment like everything y'all see is basically just me building this thing from the ground up i've never had a viral moment i don't know what that feels like and kudos to all the women who have and all the men who have that's a huge accomplishment but for me i feel like god knows what path to put me on he knows me he knows his child so i never want to mishandle something and i know me if i would have went viral early on on this YouTube journey or Instagram journey or wherever I am, I would not have put so much time and effort and detail into my work and to creating my content. I would never have fully given you guys me because I would have felt like, oh, I can do the bare minimum and I'm gonna keep growing, I'm gonna keep shining. And then you lose yourself because where's the authenticity? It's just now you're doing it for numbers. And I'm just speaking for me, not speaking for anybody that went viral. Because like I said, kudos and hats off to you. But for me, that is how I would have taken it. And if it would have happened early on, let me make that very clear. If it would have happened early on, I would have taken it as, oh, I don't have to do all of this. Let me just stick with what I'm doing. And it's just going to keep growing. 
but in actuality it's going to eventually stop and fade away and then what do you have left if you don't have that strong foundation like you can build a home and you can build it fast versus you take your time and you build it brick by brick every little detail matters because you know in the long run the way that the home is going to function for you is going to work for you it's not going to work against you so you're paying attention to all aspects every corner every crevice every door handle door knob the roof the closet the way it functions the feng shui of the house of the home you're going to pay attention to every single detail because you're taking your time and it's going to withstand it's going to be long lasting and at the end of the day that is what i want i want to build something that is strong and long lasting so i'm grateful that i didn't go viral early because <laughs> baby i would have i would have totally screwed that up <laughs> you guys would not have gotten the authentic organic stephanie like this is totally me and i told you guys my family members some of them some of my co-workers have found my channel and you guys hello you can attest this is me this is all me so anyway i've always been told you're good at this or you're better at this you shouldn't do that or you shouldn't do this or this is more your thing never allow someone to project on you what they feel or who they feel you are you have to know you have to be solid and know who you are in order for this thing called life to work are you going to answer to everything you're called you have to know who you are when I tell y'all I'm so grateful to God, so many doors are opening for me that I can't even explain or I can't talk about right now. But just know that if I was lost, if I believed I was who they said I was, I would be terrified to walk through these doors. Now I know that God is placing me in these situations because I'm not operating under my own power. This I know. And I'm just a firm believer in Christ. That's just who I am. No matter how much I do wrong in life, I know where my help comes from. Okay? I have a relationship with him. People can judge on the outside. They can say what they want about you. You have to know who you are in him. Because if you don't stand for that person, that he created you to be if you don't stand up for her or for him you're gonna fall for anything so i can't chance any weak moments i'm just grateful for my steady foundation i'm grateful for the growth this is the all-nighter setting spray yeah very clean y'all i'm just going to church girl <laughs> It's, it's not about me, okay, because I'm going to tell y'all now, I'm going to be crying and I don't like to wear a lot of makeup in church because it's going to be smeared all over my face. So, yeah. You have to know who you are in him and you have to be strong in that. So many times I look at some of the things that happen in my life on camera and off in my nursing career as well. I am a part of an elite group of nurses. We travel throughout our hospital system and we help and share the care wherever there's a need. It takes a special person to be able to switch like that on the go constantly. And I challenge myself in this position, in this role. I challenge myself to do this because I was always the type of person that was afraid to step outside of my comfort zone. But I also enjoy learning new things. So this piqued my interest. And once I applied and got accepted into this role, it's been a wild roller coaster ride. Some days I feel like I'm losing my freaking mind. I can't lie to you guys. <laughs> Some days I feel like I don't have it all together. And that's okay. You're not supposed to. I have learned to be gentle with myself, to be careful with how I speak to myself. Because at the end of the day, that voice in my head, that critic, I need to be able to identify 
when I'm speaking to me versus when my critic is speaking to me. So what does your critic voice sound like? That's important to know in order to identify. Because a lot of times that critic voice in your head is definitely not you. It's not what you think of yourself. It's what other people thought of you. It's things that were said about you that have attached themselves to you and you've carried them throughout the years. You need to be able to identify and challenge it. When you hear it, because that's when imposter syndrome and all these different things start moving into play. When you hear that voice, challenge it. You don't deserve this because of this. Well, why not? I've done the work. I put in the time. I'm consistent with this. I've studied my butt off. Nobody died <laughs> on my watch. I saved a life today. All of these things I say to challenge the critic. Because one thing you're not gonna do is tear me down. This right here controls it all, baby. Don't, don't lose your marbles. Cause that's when depression, anxiety, fear, all of that stuff comes into play. And there's a such thing as abnormal fear and regular fear. We all need to have a sense of regular fear. Regular fear is healthy. That's your fight or flight response. That's healthy. That's normal. You should fear things. You should have a sense of fear. But when it becomes abnormal to where you can't operate in your truth and who you are, when you allow it to stop you from being who God called you to be, then it's abnormal then you need to be going back to to the table and questioning things and putting things into perspective and canceling things out and rebuking things okay so I am just so I'm just so grateful let me put a little bit more on it it says use two I think two down y'all use more than that most of the time Sometimes it's hard to not live inside of my head, but when I tell y'all, the best thing I have done is just let things be. It's so liberating to just let things be. Because I realize I don't have the power to control people or some of the situations that happen around me. Now granted, the choices I make can put me into some situations, but when I make the wrong choice, well, it's never really the wrong choice because you still learn from it. But when I make a choice that's not healthy for me, I find a way to learn from it. And guess what? Now I can teach my kids. This is what you don't do. Or this is what you don't want to do. Or doing this could put you into a compromising situation. So you might want to take another look at it. You might want to reevaluate. Maybe try this. You know, that type of thing. And everything will work together for your good you have to believe that in the words of my good girl Tedra Moses life is just complex simplicity thug it out sis I could say so much more y'all but I really need to get out of here and go to church <laughs> because I like to start my week off right Heading into a hospital system, not knowing what you're going to get yourself into, not knowing, you know, what lies ahead. You always want to stay prayed up, girl. At least I do. I always want to stay prayed up. So, I need that covering. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here, guys. So, I appreciate you guys. If you stay this long and you enjoy the content, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoy the content and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.